For 20 years ago, a study came out showing it was equally effective to Prozac. Welcome to episode three of Do Supplements Really Work? That was Saffron he was talking about. But the question is, what does the science really say? Well, I think this graph right here pretty much sums it up and I'm gonna walk you through it. Okay, I zoomed in. What you're looking at right here is a summary of a bunch of studies. Each one of these dots represents one study. In each of these studies, people took Saffron for anywhere from four to eight weeks and their depression symptoms were monitored throughout. And their scores were compared with other people who either took placebo or an antidepressant. Now, if this this dot is right here on this midline. That means that saffron was equally effective as whatever it was being compared to. If it was off to the right, that means it was more effective. If it was off to the left, that means it was less effective. Now in these five studies at the top here, saffron was compared to an antidepressant. And as you can see, they had similar effects on depression scores because the dots are all hovering around this midline. Here's one particularly impressive example of what those results look like. In this case, 30 milligrams of saffron had basically the exact same effect as Prozac. But of course, not all the studies look like this. Now these 14 studies compared saffron to placebo. And you can see that most of the results were on that side of the bar. In nine out of those 14 studies, saffron had significantly stronger effects than placebo. And here's an example of those results. Placebo is a pretty effective antidepressant, but saffron appears to be more powerful. So overall, I'm pretty impressed. And I have to admit, as a neuroscientist by training, I came into this series expecting that most of the supplements were going to have like no evidence for them. So even though most of these studies were small and they weren't published in premier journals, they're still pretty decent evidence. And I think part of the problem is that tons of people on the internet make videos where they say that supplements like saffron don't just help with depression, they also improve your memory and your immune function and your digestion. And it just gets so far away from the actual evidence and becomes such a clear sales tactic that it loses the trust of at least me. So I guess just a PSA that maybe we're better off sticking to the facts. Anyways, please comment your suggestions and follow if you appreciate real science.